Well, Kirsten Carey is uh, with Nourish. Actually, she is Nourish Restaurant. Nourish. She created it. It's her <laughs> baby. We've been talking about raw foods this morning. And, and Kristen, tell, remind us why um, not just raw, but eating healthy is important to you. Uh, well, personally, I mean, I have celiac uh, disease, and um, I can't have dairy or gluten, and my body just wasn't working for me for a, the longest time. And you just didn't know it. I, and for years, and I had doctors say, oh, well, that's just how you are, or that's just how your family is, or just, you know, you had digestive problems or hormonal problems, and that's just how it is. And they would just throw me on some sort of pharmaceutical, and they'd be like, you're done. I'm like, but what's causing it? Mm -hmm. We don't want to mask the symptom. So I really went on a whole journey to figure it out, and... Um, finally got into the naturopathic community too and started learning more about how those doctors work too. So once I got into the food then I'm like oh I should open a restaurant that's a great idea <laughs> in the worst economy ever um, but it's working and people are desperate to, to yeah. eat this kind of food. Yes. Um, because you can make your body work for you if you feed it the correct things for you. So that's why we really talk about a lot of this stuff. Raw isn't necessary for everybody, but some raw works for a lot of people. Well, and even if it's not a full-time diet for you, yep. it's, it's that one added element of health and nutrition that you know you can guarantee your body. Exactly. Yes. And it, if you just do that, kind of think about it as like you're taking a vitamin when you're doing like a juice in the morning. It's a liquid version of a vitamin, but it's a natural source for your body to learn how to fix itself. Well, plus it'll feed the body at the same time exactly. versus a vitamin. Okay, so we're right, making, so. you're making up some yeah. banana crepes, and the, yep. whole, the crepe is just, just bananas. bananas. So okay. uh, all this stuff is going to go in here, so you're going to do that. All right. And what is this cool little contraption that you have? That's a ninja, if you've ever seen them on TV. And this no. is um, just natural vanilla bean that we're throwing in there, too. So you're just breaking up some ripe, super ripe bananas, and you're throwing them in there. You're also putting in, oh, here. Thank you. You're also putting in um, a shake of the cinnamon. Okay. And you put in the... Uh, Vanilla bean. Yep, I've already, I'm already put, put the vanilla bean in. Oops, maybe a little too much. Ah, oh, that's all right. All you right. know what? When you're cooking, you just kind of play. When you're in the restaurant, you measure. When you're at home or we're on the studio, we do what works. <laughs> all right, and then that's some lemon juice. You're going to toss that in there too. Okay, get the rest of the vanilla bean in there. A little and, bit of lemon. Yep, and then this is coconut nectar. Very good for people with issues with sugars because it's very low on the glycemic index. Coconut nectar? Yeah. Is it like a like a honey? Yeah, it's, it's like a molasses. Oh, that's good. Super good, right? Mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. top that. Uh, okay, that so top this wait. I don't know how this works. Yeah, what is this? Right okay, on there. the ninja thing. You said you travel with this. I travel with it. Yep, because it, it have weighs to be nothing. Locked? And then just put it right on. Look at this. It's like backwards. Pop the top. Good. Yeah, hold it all the way down. Let's see what we're doing. Now these bananas were not frozen, by the they way. They were not frozen. You don't want to use frozen bananas. I actually made that mistake the first time I made this recipe, and it makes it sort of a nightmare. So. And get all the good stuff. <laughs> it's perfect. Is that good? Yep. Okay. Just pop that top Boy, that off. is a cool little tool. Yep. You always have the coolest tools. And well, I mean, this is honestly how I do stuff at home, and and that's how we started doing stuff in the restaurant. And we got some, you know, other things, but this works just as well. Okay. So, what do you have here now? Now this is a dehydrator sheet. Okay. And all we're gonna do, we would have blended this a little bit more had we been had some time but right. if you can make a pancake you can make this so this is okay so the dehydrator yes. is it going to take as long to make these as it did to make them no uh well <laughs> no. this is about six hours don't be hungry these. when you do this <laughs> no you can't be but you can make a ton of them as you see now what was, would happen oh. we would make four on here okay we would pop this over to you're inspiring me to get a dehydrator, by the way. You know, I didn't think I needed one until I started doing this stuff. And oh they come gosh. out six hours, like, on the nose later. And they just peel them off. Look at that. How amazing is that? Wow. Right? Okay. And that's all we just did. And it's, key, and, and again, less than 118? Yes. Or 118 or lower? Less. Right, exactly. Okay. Now, okay. there's arguments on whether it's 104 or 115 or 118, but we go with 118. Okay. So, we're going to take this. Right. I'm going to lay that out. And again, you can make that many of them at once. Of course. There you go. That's okay. a good idea. So you're, you know, you're... So we're going to slice up some strawberries. Which ultimately will save you time later because you can... How long will these keep? These... Uh, much longer because they're dehydrated, so you don't have the water breaking them down. Oh. So you can keep these for a week, two. You can um, even freeze these if you really want to try. All right. So we're going to take some blueberries and we're going to toss them in there, too. But we need... Cashew cream. So let's of move along here, and I'll okay. tell you about the cashew cream. 
Um, we're going to make cream, like literally out of cashews. So I've soaked these ahead of time about four to eight hours to make them more um, easy to blend. Mm -hmm. We're dumping about three cups into here. Well, oh, yeah, this is the this is the stuff you can also make in advance, right? Exactly. Okay. Um, and I just what's the matter? Coconut oh, nectar. Okay. We have about a minute left, so <laughs> okay. Make sure we finish. But we this. absolutely have the cashew cream ahead of time in case. Oh, good. good which is okay. refrigerated, so we can make that. But let me show you what it looks like when okay. it's done. That's cashew cream. That's all. There is this cashew. Cashews and what else? A little bit of water. Um, we've got a little bit of coconut nectar, which I showed you before. Mm -hmm. And then you roll them. It's like a burrito. It is like a burrito. And then you Yay. can make some sort of sauce if you really want with just a little bit of strawberries and some nectar. And that's pretty much all there is I'm to so it. I'm so sorry, but I have to try this. <laughs> okay, come on, Susan. We don't apologize for sampling. No, never <laughs> apologize. Okay. Never, never, never. All right. The cashew cream, you're going to have There's a knife for next year, and I'm just That looks it. really delicious. And uh, nourish is. Uh, Locate all the information about oh your restaurant goodness. is on our website. Want to thank you so <laughs> much for You're welcome. teaching us how to eat raw and healthy. And we have a a funny mm. Facebook picture that somebody bit just that posted. Good. Do you know anything about it? Mm -hmm. What? Tell me. Let's see. I it. don't know what it looks like. Ah, guess what? what day it is. <laughs> It is hump day. Hump day. I love that everybody gets involved with that because that is so much fun. It's a great commercial. Wow, well, thank you and so much, Jackie. always reminds us. Oh, and that's me in the background giving blood yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not the one where I was passed out, by the way. There was one that I was passed out. It's hump day. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Mm. This is good. That's good. It right? is good.